Skeptics is a study of the behavior and characteristics of life. Even though they knew little about the actual nature of light 5,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians used pieces of curved glass in order to magnify images up to one and a half or two times. And almost 2,500 years later, a Greek philosopher named Empedocles proposed that the world and everything in it was made of just four elements, fire, air, earth, and water. He explained light by saying the goddess Aphrodite lit a small fire in each human eye so that they could see. But this would mean that humans would be walking around with lasers coming out of their eyes, seeing in the dark, so it didn't make much sense. There was a mathematician and physicist named Al-Haytham, often called the father of optics, who lived in Iraq and Egypt during the Islamic Golden Age, who figured out light from the sun bounced off objects and entered our eyes. But a question remained, what is light actually made out of? Democritus believed that light is made out of solar atoms, little packets of energy. Aristotle disagreed. He thought that light traveled like a wave in the air. And of course people believe the guy. It said that he used mirrors to harness the sun's light to create a death ray that set Roman ships on fire. The guy had to know something. And so for a long time, scientists just couldn't agree. Let's fast forward to Einstein. He got his Nobel Prize by shooting light at a piece of metal to knock electrons off. The frequency or color of the light could change the number of electrons, but how strong the light was or the intensity didn't matter at all. That meant light couldn't just be a wave. And here is our current model of light. Scientists consider light to have both properties of a particle called a photon and a wave at the same time.